Greetings, Bible nerds! It is I, 
your who am i uh it is i your uh, friendly neighborhood christian comic artist artsy bible nerd bible nerd bible nerd bible nerd this way bible nerd wow it's been so long since i've streamed i can't remember how to do it i can't remember my intro so greetings folks uh i didn't expect to go on streaming hiatus i expected just to go off uh for one day for one occasion because uh family stuff and then i said oh well that's all right i'll stream the next day i'll stream on thursday uh something came up there i actually tried to stream on thursday but uh uh, not that I don't love my son. He is, uh, he's very talkative. And not about things that streamers want to hear about. That's, that's all I'm going to say about that. So today I'm working on, still working on page 23. Uh, I have started penciling page 24 I'm not sure if I should show it to you yet what I in the work in progress uh, it is quite good it is the best thing I've done so far the best layout I've done so far uh, I know it's easy for me to, to say good things about me. But I, I, I'm confident in telling you that it's the best thing that I've laid out so far. There have been other layouts that I looked at other comics and uh, I stole the layout. It's not really, you know, it's not plagiarism if you uh, just steal the layout and add different characters and different words to those characters, different situations, different clothes. Uh, but uh, page 24 is the first time that I've used uh, what I've learned about laying out and figured it out myself. So that would be, oh, and this, yeah, I guess I you should probably count this one as my first time uh, laying out a page completely from from my imagination. So yeah, because uh, I didn't find that one anywhere. But uh, I used the concepts used from other comics that I've seen. Hey, Guts in the Beautiful! Greetings, Guts in the Beautiful! Here's your shout out. Come and get your shout out. That was way off key. Shout out at Gutson the Beautiful. The Bold and the Beautiful, the Guts and the Beautiful. How's it going, Gutson? screen am I looking at? Where, where am I looking? Where, where? So work has taken me away from Twitch uh, during the the weekdays. It's hardly, I hardly ever get a chance to watch anybody. There's no more working and lurking going on. Uh, at least for the next two weeks. So, it's just working and working. That's all I'm doing. And in between working, I do some some sketching, some penciling. But other than that, doing okay, Gutson. That's all you can do. 
Be all you can be, do all you can do. I just made that up. Not all of it. The first part is from the army. <laughs> all you can do is all you can do. Think about that. All you can do is all you can do. There's two ways to say that. You, you could either say, meh, all I can do is all I can do. That's the shoulder shrug variation of all I can do is all I can do. It means, you know, I didn't try that hard. But if you say all I can do is all I can do, which means I've tried all I can do, which is all I can do. Do all you can do. Just be you. All you can do. I'm writing a song here, apparently. I'm making rhymes. Making rhymes on the spot. So, sad news in, uh, in my daughter's life. So my daughter is a music student, music education student. She's growing up to uh, learning how to be a music teacher. But while you learn how to be a music teacher, you play a lot of music. And the, the, the one piece that she really wanted to play uh, for her recital, uh, what do you call it, the, the show, Symphonic Band is what, it, what it's called. It was really jazzy, it was really funky, and she loved it, and she wanted to be all up in it, and she, whatever she had to do to play it, uh, she is not going to be able to play that. She is not going to be in that performance. And I just got that text about an hour ago. So she will be uh, off stage while that is. So she'll be, uh, you know, jamming to it without an instrument. Vibing is what the kids say nowadays. She'll be vibing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But in other news, in, let's give you some good news. So uh, if you if you've been watching me at all for any amount of time, you may know you may have heard that uh, I'm a fan of two podcasts, two podcasts, mostly two podcasts, uh, the Bible Project. And the second favorite podcast that, that I listen to is the Bema podcast. And uh, they have these discussion groups in uh, local areas. Not, not all local areas. I mean, it's not like a theater near you. Uh, but uh, if anyone who wants to start a discussion group may choose to start a discussion group. I mean, it's like a, it's like a book club, right? Uh, so there's a, a map full of uh, 
discussion groups that have been started and I had there's only one near me there's only one like half an hour away near me and I had contacted them before said hey I'd like to join your discussion group I uh, did not get a response back until until recently so I have been to two of those Baymouth discussion groups it was a blast I went to the first one by myself went to the second one with my wife and they liked us they really liked us they really like me and my wife but that's not the quote the quote is they like me they really like me so I think I'll be going again I think we will be going again to that third discussion group I've been listening for much longer than they have. They're on session number three. I'm on session number eight. I remember the days of session number three. Something about Matthew. Those were the days. And now I can relive those days. So I have a little bit of a cold. So if you notice me, uh, you know, doing what sick people do. If you notice me blowing my nose. Do not be surprised. Everyone keep their distance. Keep their distance so you don't get a computer virus. I really need to put on a rim shot. I really need because bad jokes are going to happen. There's an art to telling the bad joke. the The funny part of the bad joke is not the bad joke itself, hence the name bad joke. But uh, the funny part is other people's reaction to the bad joke. The groan afterwards. <laughs> uh, right? You can't, you just can't groan without laughing. You can't. It's the aftertaste of the joke. That's the funny part. My wife asks, why are there only dad jokes? Why aren't there mom jokes? She's a little jealous that there's only dad jokes. I said, because dad jokes are bad. Do you really want bad mom jokes? I 
Oh, okay, I get it. All right, I see. I should really have a rim shot. Someone should follow me around with a drum set. Maybe my music student daughter could make that happen. Hey, Octagon! How's it going? How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while because I haven't been here for a while. My fault. All my fault. I can't even remember what happened on Tuesday to make it my fault. I just remember that I was not here. Yep, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is all right. So it's often that I am rummaging around the kitchen, and I will start my sentence, where is my... <laughs> and the rest of the family will respond with, super suit. <laughs> and I don't know what occurred, why, how did it occur to me to mash up uh, where's my hairbrush with where's my super suit. Oh, where is my super suit? Oh, where is my super suit? Oh, where, 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 oh, where is my super suit? <laughs> yeah, so I made that into a video. <laughs> oh, you do that too? <laughs> Where is my salt? Honey, where is the salt? Why do you need it? So I sent I sent my daughter a text and said, imagine a mashup between SpongeBob and not, not, not SpongeBob, between uh, Larry the Cucumber and Frozone. One of my best dad jokes ever. Thank you very much. Applause. Yes, Octagon, say hi to, to Gutson. Gutson, say hi to Octagon. Gutson is usually making lunch around this time because he lives in Hawaii. And it's lunchtime in Hawaii. So I'm guessing that he is listening, lurking. So do not be offended if he does not if he does not respond. Uh, 
Uh, could you explain a bit more of that dad joke? That's pretty. <laughs> explain in a bit more of that dad joke. I don't get it. What? So, uh, I guess you have to see. Have you seen those movies? Have you seen? Uh, if you haven't seen, what's it called? The Incredibles, then you won't get the joke. And also, uh, Veggie Tales. Larry the Cucumber is from Veggie Tales, a kids' show that I, I made every excuse that I knew how to make in order to watch it in the 90s because I was uh, part of the, the children's ministry, so I have to watch uh, Veggie Tales. It's part of my duty. I have to watch this kids' show so I can. Uh, be there for the kids. It was hilarious back in the day. Uh, and then it it changed ownership. It was not as funny as it used to be. Sadness. The original the original song is Where Is My Hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 where is my hairbrush? And it's funny because he's a cucumber and he doesn't have any hair. So Bob the Tomato says, well, you didn't need it, and you hardly ever use it, so I gave it to the peach, because he has hair. <laughs> and then the peach comes in with a huge wasp, like a huge, like, Elvis, like, tall, tall hair, very tall hair. And he says, thanks for that hairbrush. So now, oh, you've seen all of them? Yes. But have you seen The Incredibles? So if you haven't seen The Incredibles, I may have spoiled a little bit for you. I may have spoiled one of the funniest moments in The Incredibles. I just assume that everyone has seen it. I just assume it's been out since early 2000s, I think. There are many movies that I have not seen. It took me a very long time for me to see The Sound of Music. And everybody, had, every time I told people that I've never seen The Sound of Music, they were like, what? You've never seen The Sound of Music? Arrest this man. It's like very, very important to see The Sound of Music. I've seen them, but didn't enjoy it much. And again, I don't remember that much of it. <laughs> you have it? Well, I have seen The Sound of Music now, but before then, I got that look like I was a criminal, like I need to be locked up for never seeing The Sound of Music. I have only seen it once. What? I'm not a big movie guy. Uh, there are very few movies that I have seen. Uh, there are movies that I've seen multiple times, again and again and again. Uh, I've seen most of the Marvel movies. I've seen, uh, you know, the Star Wars movies. So if it's not Marvel or Star Wars, 
I've probably not seen it. I've seen, oh, I've finally got cho caught up on the Chosen. And I am aware that The Chosen is going to premiere uh, very soon. I think it's this week. Uh, I will not be spending money to watch The Chosen. Because, you know, math. I will be waiting. I will wait for it to come to the small screen. Because it will be just as impactful on the small screen with its biblical biblical goodness on the small screen I remember you, you like comics and stuff uh, that superheroes do you, do you enjoy well now that you ask uh, movies aren't really my thing either so uh, my favorite superhero uh, would have to be uh, Sam Wilson the who used to be called the Falcon and has taken on the mantle of Captain America and now uh, now there's two Captain Americas didn't mean to spoil anything uh, in the book there are two Captain Americas there's Steve Rogers and then there's Sam Just blanked on his last name. My favorite superhero, my, Sam Wilson. Uh, there's, uh, there is Steve Rogers and Sam Wilson, and they're fighting crime together now, as one. Well, not as one, but as one team. Captain's America. Captain America and Captain America. Hey, have you met Captain America? It's like it's a beauty pageant or something. There he is. Captain America. Uh... He's a mood. I haven't watched. You haven't watched the Chosen. <gasps> Arrest this man! Seriously though, uh, you must. The first f few three episodes that I saw of the Chosen, I was not impressed. But then after the fourth episode, that's when I was hooked. So you have to wait. If you're not impressed after three episodes, hang in there. Some people were impressed after the, the first episode. That was not me. And then when I went back and watched the, the first episode again, then it's like, okay, I see. I see what I missed. I see the the little Easter eggs that I missed. I'm one of those like just because I'm a Christian doesn't mean I uh, watch all the Christian content. I watch good. Christian content. I believe God wants us to make good uh, art. So, you know, it's a it's a privilege to be able to make art for for him. And we should do it the, the best that we know how to. 
when he talks about there are many psalms where it says uh, sing skillfully to the Lord yes there is that one where it says make a joyful noise and people people who can't sing always like to quote that I'm just making a joyful noise and there's room for that there is a place for that but if you do know how to sing if you you know if you have that kind of talent then I think uh, God wants you to to use your talent the best to the best of your abilities so uh, just like your kid who draws something and you put it on the refrigerator you're not gonna say Matt look Johnny I'm sorry this is not refrigerator material I know you can do better than this no, you're going to love that drawing because it came from Johnny and or, or Sally, whatever your kid's name is. You're going to love it for what it is. Uh, my daughter is a very talented musician and artist, and she puts a lot of pressure on herself in both of those areas, both of those arenas. Uh, also, I never thought about like that. Oh yeah. Uh, which verse is that? Uh, I do not know off the top of my head. Hey Google, hey Google. Let's see what it says about that. Let's go to the reading room. Quick, Robin, to the reading room. If only I could find it. Where did I put that reading room? Oh. Oh no. What happened to the reading room? Did it delete? the reading room oh here it is huh sorry looking at the wrong window there we go here's the reading room and where did there we go okay Let's go find, let's go see. Let's go find out. Uh, what did I say? Sing skillfully to the Lord. Uh, maybe I have to adjust this reading room because it's not really Psalms 33.3. You can only see partial of that scripture. Okay, more work has to be done on the reading room. My apologies for that lack of reading room. Lack of, lack of room to read. Yeah, can't see it here either. Psalm 33, verse 3. Uh, yes. They are difficult and fun. To the reading room. <laughs> it's alright, the idea is excellent. <laughs> thank you for your... Thank you for your grace. Take my word for it, it's there. Take my word for it, exactly what it says. Whether you can see it or not. I think 
Okay, that's a, there's a little bit of a gap there, just to show. So I bought a comic. I know you're, you're surprised. I bought a comic, uh, a Sam Wilson comic, this weekend. I've not bu been buying a lot of comics. So that's the news that I did have money to buy comics. Or at least I thought I had money to buy comics. And then my wife gave me some news. It's, only, it's a good thing I only bought one comic. So we're going to have to fix the refrigerator. Part of the news. about timing with that refrigerator. Timing, things breaking, things needing to be fixed. I was gonna buy a really expensive comic. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't buy that. called, you think I know this, um, it was called, it was a back issue, and I just bought it, so you'd think I'd know the answer to that. Uh, it is Captain America, I forget the, the subtitle of it, it was issue number one of Symbol of Truth, there you go, Symbol of Truth. Here's the spoilers. There's a train robbery, and uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America, has to go stop this train robbery. And I think that's all I'm going to tell you. That's all I'm going to tell you. Like the cover art? You just now looked it up? So there are things in the, the comic that they don't put in the movies yet. I don't know if they're ever going to, uh, but uh, there was a show called uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And that is how uh, the movie version, the MCU version of how he becomes Captain America, trans transforms from Falcon to Captain America. Uh, I think it's done better in the books. The books are always better. Why is it always better in the books? 
why can't you just make the plot just as good in the movie, in the, the show? Uh, they did a lot of shooting that during COVID, during the, the height of the pandemic. So there were those challenges. There was a lot of rewriting that had to be done. But, uh, so in the book, there is, uh, as I said, that there, there's a new Captain America, but there's also a new Falcon. So Falcon is, uh, he's a Mexican immigrant. His name is Joaquin Torres, and Torres is in the, the TV show, but he, does, he has not yet become Falcon in the TV show. So I don't know if that is going to happen. We shall see. We shall see. That's your cue. I hear some heavy breathing behind my green screen. Someone is Hello, somebody there? There's some laughter behind my green screen. Hello? Hello, Bernard. Hello, over there. Over there? Yeah. Over where? I can't see you pointing because you're behind the screen. Whoa! Dr. Frank. It's Doctor Strange. Whoa. Hello, Doctor Strange. What's up? See, they're saying hello. Octagon is saying hello. Hello there. What's, what's up, guys? Hello I'm there. Doctor Strange. Hello there. Increase his accent. We shall indeed see. Maybe I should watch the show. And you got Buddy? Buddy. Spider-Man. Sorry. You're Doctor Strange. Yes. And Buddy is Spider-Man. Yes. Got it. Understood. I understand. How's school? Great. Awesome. <laughs> Are you furrowing my brow for me? No. Yep. I don't like that. I don't enjoy that. Thank you. Um, what else? Did you get some yogurt at the store? Mm -hmm. Did you do any swimming today? Mm -hmm. This is a better. This is a better tool. I think I like this tool best. Thin um, line marker. What does yellow light mean? Yeah. Slow down. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Die. Hey. Go. Me. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> okay. Why? God. Hey. Hey. Yellow. Why? <laughs> Slow down! Okay. Well, I have to. Hey, yo. Hey. 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 Thank you. Okay.
All right, here we go. I will be right back. Talk to amongst yourselves. Alright, here I am. I'm back. As promised. Uh, let's see, what's going on with this shoulder? Let's see what happens when I do this. Don't like it. I don't like it. What do I not like about it? All right, let's go with parallel lines. All parallel lines, shall we? Let's extend these lines further All right, here we go. No, 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 no. Let's do some of this. All right, let's see what it, without the pencil lines, it looks like. some crush hatching right there. Ah, there we go. Gotta connect. Gonna need some further darkness under here. It's coming. It's almost there. I think this will be completely black. I'm on page number 23 of 24, the penultimate page. Uh, I think that's better than it was. It's still not there yet. It black. No colors anymore. I want them to turn black. 
Let's see what it is there. 23 of 24. That's right. Thank you for your excitement. I'm excited too. The most involved pro process, part of the process that I've found so far has been penciling. Uh, penciling is harder than inking. For penciling, I need all of my concentration. So inking is Anchors will get mad at me if I say it was just tracing, but it's mostly tracing. It's a lot less thought. I mean, inking is still a skill that not just anybody can do. There are really bad inkers out there. Uh, which book is it, and are you planning on doing more? I am. I am planning on doing more. It is, uh, the book is called Joseph, Favored Son of Israel. It is issue number one. It's the first comic book I've ever started, which is why uh, I did not know how long this would take. Uh, but now that I've started, I can't stop. And I also planned for this to be part of a series not just about Joseph, but uh, there would be uh, another book about, you know, all the other Old Testament biblical, like Moses and Abraham and Isaac and, you know, you can run the gamut. There are many stories that could have been told by Jesus on the road to Emmaus. And they all lead to him. So that's the point of the whole point of these stories. At the end, uh, the disciples on the road are going to have their, their mouths drop open because the truth was right in front of them and they didn't see it. This whole time. Which is exactly how I felt when I learned this back in 2014. Uh, I was about to look up the term, the terms, it says, uh, it says in the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for asking. Uh, I, I wish that I could tell you that you could pick it up somewhere right the heck now. It is not available yet. Right size Jenkins. Awesome. Thank you for the lurk, point size Jenkins. Allow me to give you a shout out. Thank you for the lurk. Go do that training. Train it. Train, her, train yourself up. Uh, Octagon said something. Hi there, pint sized. Uh, that's pretty cool. Also, yeah, art can be fun to do for sure. The, the terms were inking. The terms were inking and another oh oh inking so penciling is 
when you put down the pencil lines, when you, uh, these blue lines are, are the pencil lines. So uh, in traditional art, you would use a blue pencil because the blue pencil does not show up on the, the when you take a picture of the photo after it's being inked. So, it, but uh, ever since digital, uh, digital art has been the ruling the day, we still use the term penciling, even though it's digital uh, pencils, even though it's digital inks. And we still use the color blue because that's the way it was done in the past. And for some reason, uh, I think I understand the reason, but for some reason I thought I could just go straight to uh, drawing in ink. Why, why can't I just draw in black? The same thing I can draw in blue. Why can't I just uh, bypass the, the pencil stage? I really cannot bypass the pencil stage. The pencil stage is where you uh, make the lines that you're really not sure of, where you're figure, figuring it out. You're doing the calculus of where should this muscle go? Where should this, uh, you know, where should this bone go? So there's a lot of scratching and sketching and, uh, you know, there's a lot of guesswork during the, the penciling stage. But during the inking stage, all that guesswork has been done already, and you're able to make uh, more confident lines. Kind of like a template. Yeah, like a pattern, a template. See right here, I'm gonna cut into those ink lines with the eraser. That's something that you would not do with traditional inks. I mean, I guess you would probably use a uh, whiteout correction fluid. Uh, there are people I still, uh, people I follow on, uh, on YouTube who are still traditional inkers and tr traditional artists. Uh, David Finch. Oh, that's that was wrong. Let's do that again. David Finch is a traditional inker. Uh, Jim Lee is a traditional penciler and inker. He partners up with a, and when I say inker, I mean these people are uh, specialized. Like on a, a sports team, one player pays this position. You only have one quarterback. You only have one, a few, few receivers. You only have, you know, one running back. You only have one inker. Usually, you only have one penciler. Maybe some background artists who don't get mentioned, who don't get credits. Uh, because the the corporate comic artists are trying to they're trying to rush these out the door in about a month, so you need more help in order to give it that kind of a turnaround. But if you're doing it yourself. Uh, for me, with my full-time job and other responsibilities, it's a, a, it takes a lot longer to get this done. But I can't stop. 
I can't stop it. Yes, they are a team. Oh, yes, a team. Right. I see what you're doing there. I see what you're saying. Scott Williams, that's the name I was trying to think of. Scott Williams is the inker for uh, for Jim Lee. Very famous inker. There are very few inkers that I know by name. Usually the pencil the pencilers are the rock stars. The pencilers are the the lead guitarists of the rock band. They get all the glory. The writer is the, the lead singer. And the inker is probably the bassist. You don't realize how much the inker does. I mean, the, the inker is the, the final lines that you see are all done by the inker. So this is all you're going to see when, if this was finished that is, uh, without the pencil lines this is all you're going to see if it was printed. But if you didn't have the pencil lines you wouldn't know where to put the ink, so they all depend on each other. By the way, Jim Lee is on Twitch, not right now, I don't think so, but he does stream on Twitch, one of the most famous uh, streamers that we have on Twitch is Jim Lee, and good luck trying to find, good try <laughs> it's easy to follow him. Not very good, not very easy to find him. Not very easy to catch him while he's actually streaming. It looks like I need to clean the glass. I need to clean my iPad. to clean your iPad when you get wavy lines that are not supposed to be wavy. Uh, by God's grace, that's an interesting analysis. I can see why inkers usually wouldn't get credit. Is his name Jim Lee? Yes, Jim Lee. You may have seen some of the things that he draws, like, you know, Batman, uh, a little bit more of Batman, a little bit more of Batman. Uh, he works for DC Comics, I think is the, uh, some kind of CEO, some kind of, I think he's one of the officers for DC Comics.
All right. I think we're getting somewhere. Getting closer. Here's what it looks like without the pencils. Close, but not yet. Um, let's see, what is going on? I think we're gonna raid out early today. See who's available. See, let's see. All right, let's see Papa Tsunami. Papa Tsunami is playing some Tom Clancy, Rainbow Six. command in the chat. Feel free to copy and paste this from my chat into his chat. Papa spelled with two P's in the middle. P -A -P -P -A. Papa. I'm going to start the raid. Who is with me? Four of you is ready to raid. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Thank you, everyone, for being here with me. Uh, I'll be back on Thursday, two days from now, at 5.30, from 5.30 to 7 o'clock. And until then, may the Lord be with you. Peace.